Welcome back to Data Sciencey. Today, we're diving into some groundbreaking updates in AI with DeepSeek V3. So this model is a next-gen mixture of experts model that's pushing the boundaries of language modeling. So if you're into AI and tech, this is a must-know model. And I'm breaking it down for you in detail today. So let's get into it. So DeepSeek V3, what's the big deal about it? So, well, this model is massive. It's like huge. And how many parameters does this have? We're talking about 671 billion parameters here. Not million, but billion parameters. And here's the catch. So, it's designed in a way to only activate the 37 billion parameters per token. So, you don't need to use, or like this model is not using the all 671 billion parameters. It's designed in a way to activate 37 billion parameters for each token. And one more thing, it has the speed of 60 tokens per sec, means 60 tokens per second, it would be like, this is the speed of it. And it's three times faster than its predecessor, which is V2 model. It has the enhanced capabilities, and the models and papers are fully open source. So this is an amazing model. And here there's a demo of it in which they are like asking the model to write a novel about it. And it's like giving the title and it's telling the things and all about it. And let's see what we're going to explore. So at the core, we see that DeepSeq V3 is all about optimizing resources and improving performance. So they're mostly what they're doing. They're actually optimizing the resources and improving the performance, which is what it makes it stand out in the world of large language models. First, let's see what DeepSeq V3 has achieved in the benchmark. So the benchmark it has for English, code, math, and Chinese. And here you can see how DeepSeq V3 the architecture of it is MOE, which is the mixture of experts. And the activated parameters is 37 billion and the total is 671 billion. And you can see here in three of it, well, four of it, it has won. Not four, well, three. In three of it, it has won in English, in coding. It has like achieved in most of it, like one, two, three, four, five. In five of it, it has like won. And here in the whole three of it in math, it's amazing. It has like one in all three of it. And in Chinese and two of it, it has one. In the other, compared to the other models in which it includes the Llama 3.1, Cloud 3.5 Sonnet, and GPT 4.0. So it is beating the other model. And let's see about its architecture there, what kind of architecture it has. Like, let me click on this. Okay, so the architecture it has, it adopts the multi-head latent attention and it has the another architecture also which is called DeepSeq MOE. These are those architectures in which it helps DeepSeq V3 understand and process input in a much more efficient and context aware way in which what it will do, it will lead to better performance across the range of tasks. And in DeepSeq MOE, so these are like the subset of the specialized submodels called experts what it does, it handles the different tasks at hand. Why does these architectures matter? That why DeepSeq V3 adopted these architectures and not other. So why it has done? Because what it does, it makes the processing faster and more efficient. So the model does not need to activate every parameter for every token. So it can choose the most relevant one, like the most relevant experts, because if you see for the deep seek MOE, so what it do, it just like selects the relevant expert and then based on the task and then improves the speed of inference. And regarding the training of this model, if you have a look at the training of this model, so of course it has gone through a lot of training. So because the pre-training was done. So it was pre-trained on the 14.8 trillion tokens so the 14.8 trillion tokens were on it it was pre-trained so which it gave it a huge amount of knowledge right out of the game after that it went through supervised fine tuning 
and reinforcement learning techniques which helped its ability especially for specific tasks and one of the things that makes this model so good and so amazing is that it can process the ton of information and still perform well on benchmarks so we're talking about the big scores around the board especially in areas like math code and open ended tasks and about the post trainings of course when it has gone through pre training it has gone through post training also so post training what they did they applied the knowledge distillation to further improve this deep seek v3's reasoning abilities like by using the model called deep seek r1 the system was able to handle the complex reasoning task and improve the accuracy on things like deductive reasoning and solving multi step problems okay so in more of the benchmarks such as arena hard and alpaca eval 2.0 Deep Seek V3 achieved the score an amazing score of 85.5% and in Alpaca Eval 2.0 it achieved the score of 70.0 and as for running like how you can run this model so there's a chat also so you can chat with Deep Seek V3 on the Deep Seek's official website by clicking on this so there's a link here when you click on this so it goes to this one so here uh, the chat well is free the chatbot is free but it's just limited to 50 messages per day and regarding the api also i'll tell you what is the pricing so you can also provide the api like the open ai compatible ai at deepseek platform the link is platform.deepseek.com and regarding the price of the api So the price of the API is here. So the price of it is the for the input for the cache hit it's zero point zero one four dollars per one million tokens, and for cache miss it's zero point one four dollars per one million tokens, and for the output is zero point two eight dollars per one million tokens. Okay, so this is actually the promotional price which will end after february 8 2025 so this is the price like the discount rate or the promotional price but the real price is this one which is 0.07 for 1 million tokens and 0.27 for 1 million tokens and 1.10 for the output for 1 million tokens so here you can see it's kind of inexpensive this model is inexpensive it's cheaper to use if you want to use it so you can like buy their api and use it start using it and the things that are compatible with using this model it's nvidia you can use amd or huawei gpus like there are tools of library also that can help you get this model up and running like deep seek infer sg lang lm deploy and tensor rt rln one more thing about this model which is the deep seek model Uh, a person called Andrej Karpati on X said that this model was trained on the joke of a budget, which is like the GPUs were two thousand forty eight GPUs for two months, and the cost was six million dollar. And for reference, this level of capability, like how they train on two thousand forty eight GPUs, the capability that DeepSeek has, this. level of capability is required to have like clusters of closer to 16k gpus like 16k gpus are needed to train the capability that deep seek has and the ones being brought up today are more around like 100k gpus like for example llama 3 405 billion they use like 30.8 million gpu hours while deep seek which looks to be a stronger model they took only 2.8 million gpu hours which is like 11x less compute and if the model passes the wife test like the llm arena rankings are going so the few quick tests that this person took went so far it is a highly impressive display of research and engineering under resource constraints so this means that you don't need large gpu clusters for frontier llms you need to ensure that you are not wasteful with what you have so even you can make the best model with few gpus and less hours and the less gpu hours needed rather than the large gpu clusters 
and more GPU hours needed. So to wrap it up, I would say that DeepSeq V3 is one of the most exciting developments in language learning right now because of its multi-head latent attention and DeepSeq MOE. So it balances the massive scale with resource efficiency, giving it the best of both worlds, which is the performance and speed. So if you're interested in exploring the latest in AI, so DeepSeq V3 is definitely the model you can go for. And as always, if you found this video helpful, so don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications to get the updates of AI. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time with more AI breakthroughs. Thank you.